You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linda, your host, and today I have a familiar Brockton face. I have Reverend Jill Wiley. Welcome, Jill. Thank you, Mark. Thank you for being here. Um, you are collaborating with a good friend of mine, Steve Weiner, from Temple Beth Amuna, which temporarily right now is located in Randolph with Temple Beth Am. But there's been a Martin Luther King event that's gone on for how many years? This will be the 20th. That's amazing. Okay, and I think I've been pretty much to at least 18 out of the 20 of them. We've covered them all, but they've all been on TV. But we don't want anyone to just watch it on TV. We want them to go. Right. So talk about the date, the time, the place. We're at Mount, um, Messiah Baptist Church, correct? The, um, this is a transition year, as you say, because uh, the 479 Torrey Street building is not going to be there for this event. And uh, so we want to honor that transition to Messiah at 80 Legion Parkway. They've always been partners. Mm -hmm. uh, and in the time that I've been in Brockton, for nearly that time, uh, it's been an event that uh, the churches that I've been part of, mm -hmm. as it, the congregations have attended. So on Sunday, January 17th, the event uh, begins at 1215 with a buffet lunch. Mm -hmm. One of the big features of the previous events has been sort of a sit down, serve kind of uh, meal, but at the Temple Beth Immuna Brotherhood is the sp sponsor. And uh, so the food service will come to Messiah and we have a good crew there. Mm -hmm. There'll be a lunch buffet so people can arrive anytime from 12.15 on and uh, have their lunch. Then at 1.30, we'll go into the Sanctuary of Messiah for a program. So that's probably the biggest difference, that everything doesn't take place in one room. Mm -hmm. But certainly, we're all together, and I think it'll be a, a wonderful event. Who's the speaker? The keynote speaker, and that's a big part of every year, uh, is Reverend Irene Monroe, and mm -hmm. she's a theologian and a broadcaster and a writer. She writes um, at times for Huffington Post, mm -hmm. and uh, she has public radio uh, experience, and she appears actually on a program each Monday called All Revved Up mm -hmm. with someone who was a previous keynote speaker, Reverend Dr. Emmett Price. And so uh, they appear, and uh, she particularly is going to talk about Bayard Rustin, who's a key figure in the Martin Luther King uh, panorama. Sounds good. Yeah. Um, and I know that uh, Michael Walker, yourself, are all fired up about this whole collaboration, have been for years, because, I, I mean, I've always enjoyed starting in one location, finishing in another location, but it's all under one roof this year. That's right. Well, and uh, there was a, a sort of a motorcade that came from Temple Beth Immuna to Messiah. I, that hasn't happened in recent years. Right. And, uh, and this year, the event will probably conclude about 2.30 or 3, so it's a compact. But I brought this candle because the theme for this year that we're promoting is sharing the light. And that's the purpose of the event, was uh, early on to have congregations come together and address issues, particularly of racism, 20 years ago. And certainly we can talk about that today. And uh, because Irene, Reverend Monroe, is talking about Baird Rustin, that adds another dimension because he's a bit of a background figure in the uh, civil rights movement, but he's credited by many to have been sort of the the organizer behind the March on Washington. And if you look at pictures, you can see him. And he's a, a very uh, a noble figure. And uh, Irene Monroe will talk about him specifically. Well, I remember him a little bit, but a little, little fuzzy. So now you gave me some homework to do between uh, now and the event to, to read up a little bit more on him. Well, and you can find uh, some pretty interesting documentaries as well. Oh, OK. Uh, so he's a very progressive figure. and. Uh, was someone who I think sparked a lot and was there to put all the details together so that Dr. King would be in a position, I believe, to, to really be present to the millions of people who were certainly uh, hundreds of thousands at the marches and within the world watching what he did. Now, the best part of this is there's no cost. Right, right. It's free. It's free. And uh, 
the idea with uh, sponsorship by Eastern Bank and then the churches themselves um, are contributing so people can come and feel free to participate. And I think it'll be very enjoyable. It will, there'll be music um, mm -hmm. to, to go along with it. There's a traditional reading of, of, uh, of poetry. And uh, so it's a tradition, but I would say this year is an opportunity to kind of spread the wings of the event so that, as I say, it can, it can shine that light on what's needed today both in Brockton and in the world. But the, what I found interesting in putting the promotion together is just the uh, sort of cavalcade of stars that have been here each year. Um, and as you start looking down, I actually knew a number of them, but uh, I think you remember Father Frank Cloherty, mm, and we sure certainly do. hope he can come this year. But he was a speaker, and uh, Willie Wilson mm -hmm. was a couple years ago. Councillor Barnes, Shana, was the speaker last year. And uh, if you start going back through uh, Dr. Sakowitz, who was the uh, superintendent of schools, uh, spoke. And uh, she gave a very memorable presentation because she, um, she wrote a letter to Dr. King and told what was going on mm -hmm. in the high school. Maybe mm -hmm. you remember that. I do. But I was going to say you're in a position to say more about it because you've been behind the well, camera of all these things. Uh, <laughs> Reverend Haynes, yes. who actually worked with my father. My father oh, was yeah. director of parole for the Commonwealth and he was on the parole board. Wow. And my father said he was a fascinating individual when he used to just talk to him on a daily basis because he yeah. had been through the thick of the struggle. and. Uh, um, I, I remember him pretty vividly because I used to go to visit my dad's office at the Salt and Stall building and I oh, met him. Oh, I met okay. him and when he came back, yeah. my dad is old, he's going to be 89 and he's not all that mobile, but I told him that he was going to go there and I, I had a nice conversation at the temple with him and he brought mm. the, I, I, I told my dad and it put a smile on his face. <laughs> so, um, That's nice. I think people do find connections. That's why I've worked pretty hard to put together um, uh, retrospective of all of the speakers and, and pictures of people. I, uh, I found a, a nice picture of you and your wife. <laughs> so oh, okay. Very <laughs> cool. In the we, promotion. I don't know. Somehow we made up, we, we ended up in the Brockton Historical Society <laughs> book that Jim Benson just did. Oh, Janet know. Trask took a photo and oh, right, right. my wife and I ended up in the photo. Well, I don't know how we ended up there with the celebrities, but that's besides the point. Well, there you are. But the, Janet Trask has archived uh, the civilization in Brockton. She sure so has. we have depended on that, and she has some wonderful shots through the years of this. But I'm sure the videos, and there were also a lot of videos uh, from the event. So we hope this year has that sense of uh, of newness, of freshness, and uh, in many ways, as we sort of go into new territory with Bayard Rustin and find out what his influences uh, were then and might well be now. No, well, that's we. You know, what do they say about history? If you don't learn from it, you're condemned <laughs> to repeat it. True. Correct. True. So you got to learn the, the valuable lessons from history that are still relevant today. I mean, if you think about it, um, sometimes you think we've come very far, and then sometimes we haven't come far enough. Well, and I think change. I to me, uh, Dr. King was a change agent, and so. Uh, to the extent that we can be inspired for that. I don't think he expects anybody to continue to even maybe uh, repeat what he said, but to actually come up with, with new uh, vistas to work toward. Perfect way to end it. Thank you, Jill, and we're looking forward to the event. Thank you, Mark. Okay. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.